and uh, to be honest with you, I am completely freaked out by the Japanese earthquake that happened and the potential radiation that is going to blow to the west coast of the USA. And I'm one of those people that's sort of on the fence, like, about conspiracy theories or about overreacting, like, gloom, doom. Who knows what will happen December 21st, 2012. I'm not sure about that. Um, but strange things are really happening on the planet. And things seem to be getting more intense and speeding up. That seems to be a scientific fact. I think I am going to get some of those iodine tablets, actually. The radiation iodine tablets, uh, potassium iodine, whatever the heck it's called. I got it written down. But I'm going to go to the health food store, vitamin store, wherever they have those, and get some of those. And I'm going to stock up on bottled water and other supplies that, you know, food that doesn't need to be cooked or, or refrigerated or whatever. I have tons of rice already, just in case. It could be that we don't need emergency supplies. Thankfully, we won't. Hopefully, we won't, I mean to say. But, like, okay, I was going to say that in the media, sometimes in the news, they exaggerate um, and sensationalize things, and maybe that's designed to scare people or get people to buy something, buy certain products, you know, as a as a scare tactic or a capitalistic thing, whatever. It could be that sometimes the media exaggerates something, but usually I think the opposite. Usually I think what the media does is they downplay because they don't want the mainstream population to panic because that would just scare everybody, freak everybody out, screw things up if everybody was freaking out. So, I just am trying to stay calm and think, okay, there could be a nuclear meltdown happening right now in Japan. I'm not sure. Who knows what's the truth about that. I know that nuclear power plants are fairly dangerous, especially in this earthquake situation. Pretty scary. So, I think, okay, I'm not going to panic. Somebody, somebody online told me that I should leave the West Coast and go somewhere like go to the Midwest or the or the East Coast, but I don't think I'm going to be doing that. I'm going to stay in Seattle for now, um, <clears throat> but I don't want to be naive uh, and think everything's just fine. I want to make sure though that I stay focused in the present moment, listen to Eckhart Tolle, The Power of Now, not panic, not freak out. So I am going to stock up on some bottled water and get some uh, sparkling water that I like and just in case the tap water is, has a lot more radiation very soon maybe but then again how long I wonder radiation I, I've heard from Ch Chernobyl or whatever it's called 1986 I was still in high school then and there's still radiation from that you know contaminating things so I'm thinking you know I could get a bunch of bottled water but you know eventually I'm gonna start having to drink the tap water again aren't I or you know, eventually the bottled water I get is going to have radiation in it. So I don't think there's any way to stay perfectly healthy. Although I do think with all the toxic things on the planet going on right now, I do think it's important though to stay in tune with your heart and your love and your kindness. And because that pretty much strengthens your immune system. If you have love and peace in, internally inside your psyche in some way, in your heart and your soul and your mind, it helps your body deal with the stress of being on this planet. And also, I know I'm going to die someday, and everyone, you know, we're all going to die someday. This is all temporary on this planet Earth. So I do kind of want to let go of trying to fight, uh, fight mortality. But I want to do my best to survive as long as I possibly can, even though I admit I have a, a lot of stress and anxiety and depression. And sometimes I do wish I could just leave the planet but then when I think about some like nuclear disaster, I think, oh, I want to live, I want to live, I want to survive as long as I can. So I, be I basically do want to live. I just sometimes feel like I want to escape the stress and pain that I feel. So I was going to say that um, I'm a fairly spiritual person, so I do believe that if my body dies, that my, my soul is still intact or still, you know, he can't really harm the soul because it's not part of this physical earth reality. Um, not part of this dimension. It's it's a different vibration. But I won't know until I die for sure if that's true. But I, I just feel that in somewhere inside me I feel that. So whatever. So to make a long story short, I am going to stock up on some things today and make sure I have, and I'm going to get some extra cat food for my cat too. 
just in case I can't get cat food for a while. So, I don't know, but doesn't radiation go through things? So I'm thinking, I don't know how radiation works. I don't really know anything about uh, nuclear radiation waste or whatever it's called. But I am scared. But again, I don't want to be paranoid and overreact and freak out, but I also don't want to be naive and believe the powers that be and think, oh, everything's okay, everything's okay. They would tell us if it wasn't. I'm not naive enough to believe that, so there. But again, I don't want to be all paranoid and freak out. So, and then people are saying something's weird happening with the sun. Who knows if that's true? I don't know what the deal is with that. There's like a big shadow on the sun or some kind of weird eclipse thing or an extra big solar flares and solar storms on the sun. And then I'm thinking, okay, it could be that a lot of things, you know, a lot of tumultuous things are going to happen on this planet with the weather and who knows what's going to happen in 2012, if it's going to be gradual. You know, but everything is temporary. Every civilization has been temporary. Um, so what makes human beings now think that we're going to go on forever like this? It could be that our civilization could be wiped out and then evolution will continue and then another civilization will come to this planet. You know, another, you know, humans will, whoever the survivors are, will continue. So I think... I don't know if I really think it's going to end here, you know, life on the planet, but it, there could be massive amounts of people passing away. Who knows? I don't know. Uh, I don't want to be one of these paranoid people, but I don't want to be naive either. I don't think that all conspiracy or I don't think all those kinds of theories are off. Um, I went and heard Shirley MacLaine talk a little bit about it, and she seems to firmly believe that 2012, the axis of the earth is going to change and I've heard that the the Japanese earthquake actually the axis of the earth actually literally changed from that earthquake because it was so intense and there's continuing to be many earthquakes happening and I don't know if that's normal or not because they, they say there's been hundreds since the big one in Japan and there's other ones going on in California so I don't want to panic but I have to admit, I'm feeling really weird right now, and like I don't even want to leave my house. You know, I've been, I usually go out and do stuff every single day, and then this is a day where I get to stay in, and I'm thinking, I really want to stay in today, because I feel kind of freaked out about all the weird stuff going on in the world. Plus, it's pouring rain out there. It's like one of these rain, 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 all day rain kind of days. I am working on a more lighter note. I'm working on a new hand-painted backpack, and some new hand-painted shoes. I guess I'll show you those now. So I'll show you some, I call it Kringware, because my last name is Kringen. Since 1985 or 86, when I was still in high school, I've been hand-painting shoes. Gave two pairs to Tori Amos, the singer, years ago. And that was a really interesting experience. So I'm grateful that that happened. Would like to manifest more interesting dreams like that. Especially would love to travel more internationally. So yeah, I'm going to show you my new painted stuff now.